It's strange, as a foreigner watching American I forgot how fucking cringe Sargon is. Holy sh- Carl! Carl! Media. Watching the descent into absolute lunacy from the left-wing media. The, the side of politics that doesn't generally give a shit about the family unit all of a sudden is really, really bothered. The kids are being separated from their parents at the border. Oh, won't somebody think of the children? Attorney General Jeff Sessions is frustrated that so many critics are comparing the zero tolerance policy of separating children from their parents who then get prosecuted for misdemeanors uh, to Nazis. <laughs> well, I wonder why that is, Anna. I wonder if it's because it's a completely irrational comparison. And I wonder if it's, in fact, devaluing the term Nazi. I mean, the Nazis weren't just people who enforced their own borders. There was actually a lot more to the Nazi party and their philosophy than that. If you can believe it, Anna, it's almost like calling people who are keeping your borders secure Nazis just because they believe in borders and, oh, who else believed in borders? It is, it is genuinely fucking remarkable how Sargon of Akkad hasn't died of his brain failing to regulate his heartbeat yet or something it's just it's it's incredible to me you know what i mean when you look at sargon of akkad in an intellectual sense you know he looks like one of those rocks out in the great mesa that have like eight tons of rocks supported by a tiny little twig of eroded foundation you know or a or a building in a, in a crumbling city you know that just looks like a gust of wind could blow it over i don't know how anything's going on there he's framing the specific treatment and rhetoric used by the Trump administration to incarcerate the families of undocumented immigrants. And then he's, he's taking all that and he's saying, uh, condemning people who believe in borders or something. Like, I mean, obviously deliberate dishonesty is a big part of what they've always needed to do. You know, that's nothing like new or special. It's just so profoundly fucking retarded. I have no idea how people could watch this and think this is like some kind of into a, ah, oh, yeah, Sargon really hitting the left. He's the big point there. That is what they said. They did say that the concept of a nation having a border is exactly like Nazi Germany, you know? But I've talked to people like this. I've talked, well, I've talked to him, you know, twice. He doesn't want to talk to me anymore. I wonder why. He swore off debates after that second convo. Yes, he did. Borders, that's right. Fucking Nazis. It doesn't make them the same. You lunatics. You absolute fucking... And then Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez stomps on in with her socialist, socialist Gucci boots and is just like, oh my god. Uh, the fact that you keep these illegal immigrants on the border while they're being processed in what we will call detention facilities, which I think is most accurate, they're concentration camps. Alexandria, my dear, these are not concentration camps. Concentration camps are not something that people try to get into. What? They want to get there. They're trying to get to those concentration camps. They're trying to get to which America. Which makes them the opposite of what actual concentration camps are. You know, the, the actual concentration camps are actually a way of killing people, Alexandria. They're a way of genociding people or turning to work serfs, which again is not what the detention centers are doing they're actually saving lives it's actually the total opposite point while these people can be processed either you know let in or sent home whatever but obviously vox i'm a jewish historian yes we should call border detention centers concentration camps it isn't just accurate it's necessary no it's wild hyperbole there is not going to be a genocide of native Amer uh, central americans under donald trump this is not a way of killing them off this is a way of I'm sure that Three Arrows is about to point this out, but a concentration camp is not necessarily a death camp. Most death camps are also going to be concentration camps, because you generally have to hold people at a location while setting up the logistics for their mass execution. But a death camp, a concentration camp doesn't have to be a death camp. Um, like, we've, we've gone over this before, and I'm sure Three Arrows is about to get to it, but... Concentration camp, a place where large numbers of people, check, especially political prisoners or members of persecuted minorities, members of persecuted minorities checks, you know, cons will disagree with this, but the idea that undocumented immigrants are not a persecuted minority is ludicrous, are deliberately imprisoned, check, in a relatively small area with inadequate facilities, double check. Remember all those pictures of the border camps in like 2018 and stuff? Holy shit, yeah. Sometimes to provide forced labor or to await mass execution. 
Not this. They're not given max execution. Um, wasn't there some reporting of forced labor? I don't think that was a ubiquitous thing. Still, this is a sometimes thing. The term is most strongly associated with the Nazi death camp, blah, blah. Um, so yeah, no, it, it meets the definition of concentration camp. I think it's acceptable to call these immigration camps concentration camps, not only because they meet the technical definition, but also because the rhetoric used by the Trump administration clearly politicized it. These camps at the border were not just insufficient holding facilities for immigration. The way they were being talked about was pretty specifically an attempt by the state to demonize and contain uh, a, a minority, a violation of their international political rights by denying them asylum, making them political prisoners, as far as I'm concerned. Um, you know, and, and the threat of these people was used as a propaganda tool by the Trump admin. So, I, yeah, I think it's a perfectly apt description, in my opinion. You're wrong, ICE made it a policy to start sterilizing Hispanic women. Yes, ICE did sterilize some Hispanic women. I don't, that wasn't like an every camp thing, but this did happen, yeah. I think it was like, the people who presided over this, as far as I'm concerned, are in the same like tier as the Nazi doctors. Uh, it was like, wasn't it for a lot of these women, it was like they had something that needed to be taken care of by a doctor, and the doctor, while having them opened up, was like, yeah, let's just take this out too, you know? because they didn't like the Hispanics. So, yeah, these were full-on hysterectomies. I mean, they yoinked the entire goddamn... When she talked to these women about the hysterectomy, the women, quote, reacted confused, one explaining why they had one done, end quote. The woman told Project South that it was as though the women were trying to tell themselves it's going to be okay. When I met all these women who had the surgeries, I thought this was like an experimental concentration camp. It was like they were experimenting with their bodies. Mr. Wooten also expressed concern regarding the high number of detained immigrant women at ICDC receiving hysterectomies. She stated that while some women have heavy menstruation or other severe issues that would require a hysterectomy, everyone's uterus can't be that bad. Everyone he sees has a hysterectomy, just about everybody. He's even taken out the wrong ovary on a young lady, a detained immigrant woman. She was supposed to get her left ovary removed because she had a cyst on the left ovary. He took out the right one. She was upset. She go back, take out the left, she wound up with a total hysterectomy. She still wanted children, so she has to go back home now and tell her husband she can't bear kids. She said she was not all the way out under anesthesia and could hear the doctor tell the nurse he took out the wrong ovary. What the fuck? All right, well, no, this isn't an ICE policy. This was a couple of rogue doctors. I don't think it's fair to apply what's happening here as a general standard for the, for the, dete for the, the concentration camps at the border. However... The fact that this is happening at all is pretty noteworthy. Um, oh yeah, speaking of ontologically evil, the doctor here, Jesus. All right. Okay, okay, we're on a tangent here. Let's... If keeping them safe while we figure out what's going on with them, I say we, while the, 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 the border, uh, border agents and whoever is involved with it figure out what to do in line with the law and the process. Nobody on the right side of history thought this was the answer to a flawed policy. <laughs> I tell you what, Francis, a child's whiny cry would have a lot more traction with me if I wasn't a parent, but I'm afraid at this point I have become inured to the whiny cries of children because children give that kind of whiny cry all the time. Can't have a biscuit. Remember when, remember when he said, remember when during the trans arguments he said, um, it was asked like, um, well, is an adopted parent still a parent? And he was like, well, no, not properly but he's an adopted father. Does anyone else remember that? Like, where he, where he was like, oh yeah, I guess adopted parents aren't real parents, but he has an adopted daughter? Yeah. Whiny cry. Doesn't want to go to bed. Whiny cry. Doesn't want, can't find its favorite toy. Whiny cry. I'll tell you what, Francis, I'm actually really relieved that that's the kind of cry that you exposed me to, because if it had been a high-pitched, sustained cry of fear and pain, then I would have been like, yeah, okay, something's really wrong. Like, uh, it's just, that's the level we're on. This was years ago, too, but, like, Sargon's been a fash for a while. Um, you know, it's just... <laughs> I'm, I'm actually delighted to hear the screaming of children at this concentration camp. This pitch isn't nearly high enough for it to have the degree of torture and physical mutilation or associate with uh with the uh, auschwitz you know just harder sargon says sweating profusely scream harder he yells at the children do you think sargon would have been a nazi sympathizer in britain during world war ii i think he's a nazi sympathizer today 
I mean, we're all products of our environments, but like, yeah, there's his his ideology right now is closer to that of Nazi Germany's than it is to any liberal British ideology. Yeah, just absolutely. He was literally on Twitter on one of his banned accounts talking about like disproportionate Jewish control of businesses, and he's what, lit, an avowed white nationalist. You know, it's not not that subtle of a connection. My question is when this begins to remove the meaning of words, how many comparisons can slash should one make before a word loses meaning? I, as long as you're able to justify what you're saying, like, as long as you're able to make the argument, I don't think it loses meaning. It's worth pointing out, though, that a word also loses meaning when it's never used, right? Like, if, if you wanted to diminish the meaning of a word, you effectively do that by ensuring that it's never evoked, you know? People saying, oh, you will diminish the meaning of the Holocaust, you know, maybe there's an argument to be made there if an argument for that comparison can't be made, but, you know, if you never make the argument at all, what was the point to begin with?